What's going on, everybody? Spunky Nice Nine One coming, you guys, with another video. So, Ego CEO and owner Jeffrey Lurie was asked about whether or not he regretted um, hiring Chip Kelly as the as the Eagles head coach after parting ways with longtime head coach Andy Reid. He was also asked if he regretted the um, decision to let um, Chip Kelly, you know, make all the personnel GM, you know, GM decisions, you know, in 2015. Here's exactly what Jeffrey Lurie had to say about both of those decisions. He said that um, I don't regret the hiring of him because it was done with a really good thought process. But yes, I would say I regret giving him the kind of authority I gave him. Yeah, that's an easy one. So very short and simple. He made it very clear, you know, he, that he didn't he didn't regret the decision to hire Chip Kelly as the head coach. He felt like it was a good move, a smart move at that time. But he does regret, you know, the decision to um give him the general manager powers, which I think most Eagle fans we all agree that was a terrible decision there. But but I think Jeff Lurie, his start process there was like, hey man, if I this guy took us to two back to back ten and six seasons and. Maybe if I allow him to bring in the players that he wants, you know, for his scheme, maybe, you know, may, maybe that can, um, maybe it'll pay off. He took a gamble and obviously it didn't work. But there's no such thing as a perfect owner, you know. He Jeff Lloyd's not perfect. He made a mistake there. He th he thought it was a right. He was a, it was a smart idea. Let let the guy bring in the players that he felt were best for his scheme. But the problem is there though was that um, Chip Kelly, he he, he didn't bring in the right players for his scheme. Now, I know this is probably going to be a little bit of an unpopular opinion by another Eagle fans. I know it's probably going to be one, and, and that's fine. I've made I've, I've said stuff that's been relatively unpopular with the majority of the fan base, and I'm fine with that. But this is going to be a little bit unpopular, but I don't think Chip Kelly was a bad coach. I don't think he was a bad coach at all. I think the Eagles, you know, I, I thought the Eagles did pretty well overall under him the first two seasons. Two 10 assists back-to-back seasons. Made the playoffs in 2013. Of course, we all know that season ended. It, it didn't end the right the way we wanted it to end. Obviously, um, we, we lost to the Saints in the um, in the wild card round of the playoffs. 2014, another 10-6 record, but the Eagles missed the playoffs. They had they had a little stumble at the end of the season with Mark Sanchez as their quarterback. Like like I said, man, I don't think he was a bad coach, but he was definitely a lousy general manager. He brought in a bunch of players who did not fit his scheme. I still feel like I still feel like to this day, man, DeMarco Murray was wasted. You know, Mark DeMarco Murray is a um north and south down here runner. Um Chip K was trying to run him out of that shotgun, which did not work to um you know that, that did not work to DeMarco Murray's skills. So I, I blame Chip K a lot for that. I definitely do. I think he should have just stayed a um the head coach and you know and I think I, I think he could have possibly still be here in Philadelphia. Now there were some pros and cons about the offense. The first, the first, two, the first year, it took a lot of people by surprise. A lot of, you know, a lot of opposing defensive corners because it was something they had never seen before. They weren't used to that very fast-paced offense. But it did have its cons. Obviously, you know, the defense it meant the defense was going to be on the field more because the offense was was scoring so quick. It means your defense didn't get much of a rest. So it definitely had a flaw there. But um, Chip Kelly's biggest downfall was that he was so damn stubborn. He was not willing to change, you know. He traded Nick Foles. He traded Nick Foles for damn Sam Bradford, which was absolutely horrendous. I think most people to this day will agree that was a horrendous decision. So he yeah, he traded Nick Foles for Sam Bradford. What else did he do? Um of course he shipped um LaShawn McCoy, long term running back LaShawn McCoy to um Buffalo for Kiko Alonzo, which was absolutely terrible. Signed by him. Byron Maxwell, terrible, terrible, terrible signing. Um, a guy that was a product of the um, Legion of Boom in Seattle. What else did he do? He, he uh, of course, he um, Deshaun Jackson. He just flat out delete, uh, the lease, flat out released Deshaun Jackson without getting absolute, without getting any type of compensation for him. That was terrible. Desha um, Deshaun Jackson was a was definitely worth a you know at least a second round draft pick. But he got nothing for him. He released him because he heard rumors that um, Deshaun Jackson had gained affiliation. According, that's what they say. But who knows? So, yeah, he, him as a general manager was absolutely horrendous. But I thought as a coach, he was a decent coach. But I also take the positivity out of his, um, his tenure in Philadelphia. Because let's keep it real, Eagle fans. Um, 
Howard Roseman's first stint as general manager of the Eagles was terrible. It was terrible. A bunch of terrible decisions that he made with um, Andy Reid, you know, bringing in players that, you know, drafting players that was just absolutely horrendous. So his first stint as the, as the Eagles general manager wasn't that great to begin with. But I think, you know, obviously, the, the, you know, being having, having a demotion, what he had, because when uh, Chip Kelly had his one year as general manager, you know, uh, Roseman, Roseman was pretty much, um, you know, he was pretty much a, um, a, a you no know, drawing up the contrast. That's what his role was. But I, but but you know, when he but when he got his opportunity to be a um, general manager again, he did not look back. He came back a completely different man, a very determined man, and he he made the Eagles into a Super Bowl contender in only two years. So it definitely changed him as a person. The experience of being demoted down to um, just drawing up contracts, it definitely made him a, a much better GM. Um, you know, if it wasn't for the whole debacle with Chip Kelly, we wouldn't have Carson Wentz now. We wouldn't have Carson Wentz. You know, so I look, I take I take the positive edge out of it, man. We wouldn't have Doug Peterson as well. I try to I try to take the positive edge out of it. Yeah, it was a that 2015 season was horrendous. It was, but. If it wasn't for all the stuff we went through that year, that year, we probably wouldn't be Super Bowl champions now. You know, we, we probably wouldn't have won the Super Bowl now. Um, it, it, it made Roseman a much better general manager. I, you know, I guess being the mold like that, it makes you step your game up. And how Roseman has stepped his game up, and he's become arguably the best general manager, general manager in the league. He's definitely every time you see a list, he's definitely missing right up there in the top, in the top five at least. So it made it made him a much better man, and a much better general manager. So. I don't. When it comes to Chip Kelly, I don't think he was. A, I don't think he was a terrible coach, but he was a lousy general manager. Um, his offense definitely did get exposed because, you know, defenses uh, once they got used to it, they got accustomed to it, they were able to stop it. But I blame the failure of 2015. I blame it on his stubbornness, and I blame it on him bringing in players that did not fit his scheme. Demarco Murray should have never been used as a shotgun running back. That's not what he is. He's a north south north south downhill runner. He should be, he should be ran out of our formation, not the shotgun. So Roseman was his own worst enemy, man. His stubbornness is ultimately what led to his downfall. Of course, after he got fired by the Eagles, he went to um, San Francisco, coached one year there, and got fired. And then he returned back to college, and now he's coaching UCLA. So I I I, I agree with, I agree with Howard Roseman. Excuse me, I agree with um. Jeffrey Lurie, you know, I I don't think he should regret. I don't think he should regret hiring um, you know um Chip Kelly as a head coach. He thought it was a you know it was a very bold move, and he thought it was a move that will ultimately pay off. Uh, he does, you know, he should regret you know making them general manager. But I understand his thought process there as well. He thought maybe if I gave this guy the power to bring in the the players and personnel he needs, maybe then you know maybe maybe then um. You know, it, it would pay off for him, but uh, but obviously it didn't. But nobody's perfect, so I don't hold that over over um, Jeffrey Lurie's head. Jeffrey Lurie's been the best owner that this team has had, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, we've had our most successful years on Jeffrey Lurie, but the whole Chip Kelly debacle, it is what it is, man. It, it obviously made us a much better team. You know, ultimately we became a much better team because of it. But you guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. I know that's a little bit of an unpopular opinion, but I don't think he was a terrible coach. Just a lousy general manager. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. As always, go birds. Um Spunky Nice 91, signing out. Fly, Eagle Fly. Peace.